folks, my name is Bonnie Wright and this is the Go Gently YouTube channel. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. This is happening, we've made a channel, I'm pretty excited about it. All thanks to my book that has been such a fun experience writing and I am so excited to be sharing it with you all in April 2022, just in time for Earth Day. Uh, so yeah, this channel has been inspired by the book that is called Go Gently, Actionable Steps to Nurture Yourself and the Planet and it's just an intimate view into my life and my home and all the things I have been implementing in my day-to-day -day life to have a more kind of tangible, realistic, kind of rolling up the sleeves, hands dirty approach to the climate movement and just looking at how I can take part, how I can use what I'm passionate about, my skills uh, and how I can apply that to change and really make it work for myself. I think that's a really important thing when we look at our position and role within the climate movement. Don't strive to be like something you may have seen in social media or in the news, but it doesn't quite feel right for you or doesn't really work for what you're interested in. Really make it work for you. So in this channel, I'm just gonna outline things that I've been passionate about and drawn to and what curiosity has kind of led me to, um, but allow your curiosity to lead you to whatever you may be interested in the climate movement. These are all gonna be just suggestions, just ideas. I am by no means an expert but I am definitely passionate so I cannot wait to share with you uh, all the wonderful things that we'll explore in this channel and I'm pleased that I'll have you there with me along the way so please leave your comments and ideas uh, here on the channel and I will be reading them and they will definitely inspire me with how I choose to decide and what I choose to film. So today's first video is going to be pretty simple and casual. It's just going to be a day in the life with me, stopping along the way in different moments that I want to highlight some stuff that feels quite uh, go gently, so to speak. So let's go back to 7 a.m. this morning when I woke up. It was a little bit dark, so not a great time to do this introductory video. And we'll start the day again from there. Okay, a little rewind to my actual morning. Uh, it is 7 a.m. I woke up about 10 minutes ago. I have fed the cats and now I'm going to take Billy for a nice walk down to the beach, which is a lovely morning ritual we love to do. Um, so let's go. So we're walking to the beach and it is so cold. Billy is stopping at every single tree to pee on. Um, hopefully the sun will come out soon and warm us up. We made it to the beach. It's such a beautiful morning. It's very sunny. There's a couple of people catching some waves on their surfboards and other people walking. Very typical Californian lifeguard tower behind me and got pier down there. You can see Billy. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna take a walk, take in the day, feel that fresh air. Okay, so a practice that I like to do in terms of seeing rubbish and trash on the beach is to obviously pick it up, but there can be a lot and it could be a little bit overwhelming if you start picking up a piece, then you see another piece and another piece and your hands are full and you're overwhelmed and the reality of the world hits you like a big bus in the face. So instead, I like to do a thing where I just pick up five pieces. Then I know that I've hit the number that I, I said um, and I feel like I've done something, but I don't get overwhelmed. So let me show you the five pieces of trash that I picked up this morning. Got a bottle cap, some styrofoam, which is one of the worst offenders, a plastic straw, a soft, Plastic packaging, not sure what that is from. And this, some type of snack. So that's what I picked up. So yeah, as you can see, those pieces are pretty much all from the food and drinks packaging uh, that we are kind of so trapped in. You can see why in my life and in my uh, environmental work, I put a lot of pressure on corporations like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and different things like that, Nestle, with. Um, with Greenpeace because they are some of the big offenders. They create some of the most amount of plastic that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, this is why we put pressure on those corporations because it's their packaging and rubbish that's ending up on these beautiful coastlines. It's time to head home and start our day. Um, it's been a lovely walk. The sun is wonderful. Kept us warm. Billy's had a good time and yeah. Time to share you the rest of my day. Uh, 
time to enjoy breakfast. Have some nice baguette with peanut butter, my favorite thing. Mm. Mm. And rustic cafe jam. This flavor is raspberry and sage. So good. Mm. There's really nothing better than toast and coffee. Once I had a bit more of a sip of coffee, um, I'm going to water my garden. Some rhubarb I planted um, a couple of months ago. Probably won't see any rhubarb for a year or so. This is a nice, I think, Australian native plant. Some rosemary. I have had that bush of rosemary for like six years. Very hardy bush, some mint, um, some nice succulents, and aloe. These tomatoes are on their way out, planting some kale, some carrots that, as you can see, my cat hates. <laughs> Frank is decided to dig up everywhere. It's been a lovely morning showing you uh, my morning things that I love to do, but it's time to get to my desk, so off we go. Okay, so yeah, so we're doing some work today on some Go Gently uh, journal pieces. Um, I hope you've been checking out the website and enjoying that. Um, it's all kind of new for me. I've never had a platform, never had a website like this. It's been really exciting to just feel out what kind of kind of content and and sort of reflective pieces and practical pieces that I want to put on that website. So I really hope that you also have some time to give some feedback, whether that's in the comments in the YouTube or if that's just on Instagram in my DMs or different things like that, I'd love to hear. Because, you know, really Go Gently and why I felt inspired to write Go Gently was because of you. I had such great uh, feedback from you all and just a real like passion and, and kind of dedication to really wanting to do something. You know, that's always the same question. What can I do for the environment today? Um, so it was those questions and that enthusiasm that really pushed me to write the book and gave me the confidence um, that there were people out there that wanted to read it. So I really hope you enjoy the book. But another thing I'm actually working on is finessing like the image that's used on the UK cover. So there'll be two different um, covers, which is fun. And um, I am just working on finessing some little details in that uh, cover with the designer. Um, oh, one thing I will show you that you might enjoy is in here, so in the cover, Go Gently, the title is written in my handwriting. And when we were doing the design and we were laying out the text and fonts and the, and the photo, there was just something missing. Like I really wanted this book to feel as kind of personal as possible and really kind of just casual and relaxed and approachable as possible. So the minute I had the idea of making Go Gently in my handwriting, suddenly the whole cover, the whole identity of the book really came together. So here's just a quick show of the hundreds of millions of times that I wrote Go Gently. I wish I could show you my computer screen, but I feel like I would give too much away. So I'm gonna work away. You can't often find Bonnie written on cups, but then I found the best Bonnie written on a cup. Simpsons! All-time favorite cartoon, for sure. Okay, we are in my bathroom and we're gonna have a shower. I say we, like I'm gonna take you into the shower with me. <laughs> Definitely won't be doing that. Um, but I'm gonna have a shower, I, um, and I'm gonna wash my hair, because as I said, it needs washing. I actually just went to my co-op that I love, my local co-op opportunity, it's called. Um, and I don't know about you, but I find it very hard to find co-ops these days, particularly in big cities like LA. Um, but if you have a local co-op in your town, city, community, shop there. It's a great um, model for a grocery store, supermarket. Um, so yeah, so I went to the co-op um, a couple of days ago and got some... Um, more of my shampoo and conditioner. Luckily they do like refill there, um, which is great. Got some shampoo and conditioner. But okay, I'm gonna take a shower and then maybe I'll walk you through some more of my products. Okay, shower time, gonna stop chatting because we got the day to have. Okay, so I've had a shower and I'm just gonna brush my hair. It's kind of knotty, not happy sure of a job I did. I'm actually using a brush by a company called 
brush with bamboo, um, which I love because I love bamboo. It's an amazing uh, material that, because it just it grows very fast. That's why I also like using bamboo-based um, toilet paper. Oh, where should we begin? Okay, just a little bit of face oil. I use this brand called Marie Veronique that I'm obsessed with. Definitely had a lot of problems with my skin in the past, sort of like adult acne and stuff like that. So I've really taken great care to simplify the products I use um, and not kind of use things that are too rich or have too many essential oils in them. This is a toner that I get like just refilled. Oil and toner in my hand as a kind of moisturizer. Is my face moisturized? Give it a little massage. <laughs> No skill to my routine. So I usually make my own toothpaste, but as you can see, this is the end of a David's toothpaste, which is made from aluminium. So once you've cleaned this out, you can recycle it. But I'm out. And the last time I was out and I bought this, I was like, I think I was like in the deadline, final deadline of my book. And I was like, I can't make toothpaste right now. Even though in my book, there's a toothpaste recipe. Um, I, like, I just can't do it. I just can't, I don't have the time, <laughs> which is sometimes the case. So instead, um, I bought some toothpaste, um, but now I have no excuse. We're gonna make some toothpaste. Now, I guess I, as we all do, that is not gonna happen. Sorry, I was like, oh. That is not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to do that in the mirror, but I'm just curling my eyelashes. Finishing with a bit of lip. Okay, time to get dressed. Oh, hello, Billy. How are you and your brothers? Here is Frank, who I adopted back in May, and his brother, Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Okay, it is time for a dinner snack. I got out a Beyond sausage. My favorite is the spicy hot Italian. I'm gonna let that defrost. I'm usually not that good at remembering to bring them out to defrost, but we're gonna make to go with it um, some rainbow chard with some ginger and garlic. This is something I always often do. I rely on just having some greens cooked and then something out the freezer, if I'm really organized, um, I'll have a veggie burger I made myself, um, but today it is just a pre-bought one. Okay, so we have the rainbow chard. I have wrapped it in a damp kitchen towel, which keeps it extra fresh for longer. It's a genius trick, I highly recommend, just dampening a cloth and wrapping any of your greens in them, salad, herbs, anything, it keeps them fresh. Okay, um, we're gonna chop this up. And we're just going to add some ginger and garlic to it. It's a pretty basic recipe that pretty much works with any type of green. I like using the back of my knife. What I have found over time is being unprepared or not having stuff in our fridges and freezer can lead to a lot of takeout, which means more money and it also means a lot of packaging. But there's just a few things I like to do to make sure on random midday weeks like today, I have stuff. So often that is keeping some veggie options frozen in the freezer, which include, yeah, veggie sausages, veggie burgers, anything like that. Um, and even if I'm really prepped, I've even sometimes cooked loads of steamed greens up and then actually frozen them in big ice cube trays to sort of have frozen vegetables at any time so I don't even need to have anything fresh and we're gonna cook the ginger and garlic up first and then add some cumin seeds. It's, my, I think, my, one of my favorite herbs. Sausage in here. While that's heating through, I'm gonna put in the rest of this chard. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in here and the liquid mixed with the soy sauce creates a bit of a steaming thing. I'm just gonna put the lid on here. Head into my sausage. Because as well, this isn't totally frozen, um, what I usually like to do is like heat it up a little bit on the heat and then I usually cut it in half and kind of butterfly it open. 
And I feel like it always just cooks a bit better that way as well. So, uh, that doesn't look so pretty, but luckily you're the only people seeing it. And it's just a very lazy way to not wait for the entire sausage to defrost because I'm lazy and I'm ready for dinner. Call it a sausage scramble or something, I don't know. Let's check on these greens. They're looking good. I think I'm gonna add a bit of pepper. Okay, so I think everything is ready and it's time to plate up. And the slightly unattractive but delicious chunks of this Beyond Sausage. Okay, and bon appetit for me. I think I am gonna go and eat this, maybe read my book, maybe watch some TV, um, and make my way to bed. I am eating very early, as you can tell, but I woke up really early. Um, I have to get up tomorrow really early, so I'm trying to be sensible and have an early night. But this is me eating early and then I bet you by the time I get distracted with TV and phone and books and stuff, it might be a bit late. Okay, I got cozy, I've had my dinner and now we're going to feed the animals. You want some food, Frank? Are you Frank? Are you going to sit for your dinner, Billy? Are you going to sit? That's a good sit. That is a good sit, bud. Okay. We're gonna get you food. Okay, bud. Let's go get it. Okay, the cats are next. This is what they're gonna have. Also open farm. They've got these cute little fishy bills. Even though I think their food today is gonna be turkey. There you go, munchkins. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, everyone is fed, uh, happy animals. And I'm gonna go run a bath and get cozy and probably read my book if I don't fall asleep first. Um, the night is drawing in, it is still early. I must admit I am getting to bed pretty early, but I'm hoping that means I have some energy to read my book. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go run a bath. Okay, the bath is just running, so I'm going to fold some things, some clothes. I'm not very good at folding. Like, I feel like some people have their methods and it's really neat and mine isn't so neat, but you know, it gets the job done. That's all there needs to be. So I have some fun tricks when it comes to laundry, the go gently methods. Um, maybe one day I'll do a very exciting laundry edition um, all things about sort of like how to wash clothes that maybe have some synthetic like these I know are made from recycled plastic bottles which is great because they're made from recycled content but at the same time that sadly also means when they wash they can shed microfibers of plastic so it's important when you do wash them you use some little tricks and things um, to wash them with I will come back to this uh, I'm just gonna go see if my bath is ready Okay, I've just run my bath and I put some of my homemade bath salts in it um, that has, what does it have? It has Epsom salts, sea salt, um, some essential oils and things like that. So I'm gonna have a bath. Okay, it's time for bed. I am pretty excited about it. I'm pretty flushed from my hot bath. Billy has taken over the bed behind me. I don't know if you can see. Um, but anyway, I'll be kicking him off soon as I'm gonna get into bed and read my book. I'm actually reading Giovanni's Room right now by James Baldwin, which is really good. And thank you so much for coming along with me today for my first episode on the Go Gently channel. I'm so pleased to find you here. And I'm so pleased to grow together and find joy in the actions that we take for the climate, for each other, for ourselves and communities around us so thank you and i am so excited for my next episode uh, and please subscribe if you feel like it and leave some comments because i would love to know what you think and that can really um inspire us in how we integrate your sort of interests curiosities and passions into the content that we make here on go gently so thank you again and good night from me